Today we're going to be painting a tie advanced and I'm going to talk about some uh, different techniques this time. Um, specifically with this type of model it's very difficult to get inside uh, on the interior panels if you know if you want to make them dark and then have a you know a contrasting color um, and it can be hard to do that accurately because it's so narrow in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've already I've got another one here. Uh, we're going to take the wings off. Um, and they're held together by a very small, uh, tiny little piece right here. And it's really easy to get back on and just a little dab of glue right in that little hole right there. We'll fix it. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take both of them off. And they come right off just like that. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And now we can paint each wing separately. And we can really pay attention to the detail we're going to do in there. All right, so for this one, I'm using Citadel Mechanicus Standard Gray as my base. And uh, I'm going to do the inside of the wings first. Um, and this is actually pretty close to the actual color. Uh, we're going to add some more highlights. I'm going to do like a bluish green and some accent parts and then both a black. All right, so I got the base coat done on all the parts I decided to do the both sides of the wings, even with it off, I got my hands a little dirty holding it, but uh, I want to want to do some more detail. So I'm gonna use um, Citadel uh, Camelite Green. It's like a blue green, and I'm gonna try and do some detailing on the front panels in here and on some lines. All right, so I'm able to uh, I'm able to get these, but my brush is going sideways. And it's a, a really light coat of this blue-green. I don't know how well it's coming out in the camera, but I'm getting just the right amount of detail I want. It's very, it takes a lot of time. Okay, it's, we, we got the cockpit lining done. That's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm doing these um, by hand. I'm just doing a side stroke of the brush. All right, so I got all my uh, green highlights done on the base of the ship. So the next step is I'm going to try and get the uh, the, the raised lines on the outside of the wings. And uh, I'm going to do this one. I already did one. came out looking like that. And so that's the level of detail I'm going to go for. And then I'll try. So I just want to go over the type of brush stroke that I'm using. I'm going sideways here. And it helps me get kind of a straighter line with less errors and what I basically do is I just get the very tip of the brush and I try to press it really flat and it kind of fans out the brush a little bit more and I'm using the smallest brush I've got and give me the all right so now it's time to glue uh, I've got some my wife's nail glue gun here and uh, I'm going to just drop some in there and And then bring it together. And we want to hold it there for a little bit. And after after about a minute or two, we can let go. Alright, so I got the wings glued back on now, and here is how it looks so far. Um, Alright, so basically, I'm going to put this on pretty wet. See there? And it's going to pool up in certain areas, and I'll leave it pooled in the areas that I want to be darker, and then I'll kind of wipe away the areas that I don't want to be as dark. And this will fill in, and what this, if those of you don't, who don't know, um, I mean, Citadel calls this a shade, but the rest of the painting world calls it a wash. And what it does is it'll fill in to all of the spots that have detail that you can't really see so well, and it's going to make a lot of the detail stand out. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, wash is done. Um, and my next step, you see the detail in there, it kind of shows up pretty good on the top. Next step, uh, now I mean this one I would be done, but I am feeling kind of froggy, as my wife would say. And I'm going to apply a gloss. This is uh, called Art Coat. And Basically, it's like a real, 
a real pasty kind of pearly and it's a glaze and I have done it to another ship I had done it to this guy and you can see how it's like shiny and I don't know if that's the best way to go but that's kind of what it does this was this guy was done in one of my other videos um, that's kind of what that'll do to it so here's what it looks like I I'm kind of happy with this, but I just want to make it shiny. I, I just, you know, it's a new a new paint and I want to play with it. So here we go. Okay, we are, we have a finished product here. And I, I really like the way it, it turned out. It's nice and shiny. Basically, Vader's instructing people to scrub down his new tie and wax it and polish it. And he'll strangle them if they don't. Let me know what you think. Is the shine a little bit too much? Normally, the hard coat is just, I use it for uh, cockpits. I did that on a uh, uh, ship last night. I just did the cockpit and it looks really good. I'm probably going to do a slave cockpit with it. So, let me know what you think.